<laughs> so, uh, I'm juggling too much of this electronic stuff. <laughs> anyway, happy Wednesday. Uh, stop, drop, and meditate. We do this pretty much every week, uh, you know, unless uh, life gets in the way. Sometimes that happens. And uh, it's noon West Coast time on Wednesday. Maybe it's uh, 3 p.m. 3 p.m., if I can get that out right, uh, on the East Coast. Or, uh, you know, maybe you're watching this in the future sometime. So uh, whatever time it is, it is a good time. It is the best time. Actually, right now is the only time you can meditate. You can only meditate in the present moment. So how about that? Right now is the moment. Uh, my name's Gary. Uh, this is Stop, Drop, and Meditate. We do this on the Tattooed Buddha Facebook page. Uh, we do it on Portland Insights Meditation Community Facebook page. And then I post it elsewhere. So thank you for uh, sitting with me today. I was thinking about this yesterday. I've been, I did this, I held space for Portland Insight this morning and, and, and did this practice this morning. And, uh, and I've been thinking about, about it the past couple days because it is so effective. Um, this meditation we're gonna do today is called Pleasant Spot Meditation. I learned it from Lee Brazenton. Uh, Lee Brazenton is a great teacher in the lineage of Aya Kema, who uh, I strongly recommend looking up Aya Kema. Aya, you know, as in uh, teacher, uh, female teacher, A-Y-Y-A, and then Kema, K-H-E-M-M-A. Aya Kema was amazing uh, and written some amazing books. Uh, so again, you know, one of the one of the great uh, rebel Buddhist teachers uh, in in modern time, and and go nuns, right? So, yeah, uh, pleasant spot meditation. Ooh, I got I got kind of tingly thinking about that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, pleasant spot meditation. When I learned this, Lee Brazenton was teaching it as a way to access the jhanas. Uh, cultivating a pleasant sensation, cultivating a, a, a tranquility, you know, finding a pleasant spot in the body and uh, bringing some attention to it and uh, energetically maybe even like breathing into it. Not, you know, not, not figuratively. You can't, you know, if, if you have a pleasant feeling in your, your pinky toe, you can't literally br breathe into your pinky toe, but you can use the breath as a vehicle to, to send some energy and some more attention to that pleasant feeling in the pinky toe, and then encourage it, allow it to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And so that's the, the practice, kind of scanning through the body. What feels good right now? Let me bring some attention there. If you can't find something that feels pleasant in the body, smile. Bring up a little smile on your face. It, I mention this frequently because I do. I, I like to do lots of smiling meditations. I find it to be super effective. This is the first one I learned, by the way, from, from Lee. Uh, bring a smile, even if it's fake. Bring a little half Buddha smile to your face, and that feels pleasant. Those muscles uh, change with the smile. The cheeks kind of uh, uh, brighten up a bit. The corners of the eyes... Uh, lift up with a smile as well. So bringing some attention to the smile, that pleasant feeling with the smile, and encourage that to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And so, uh, you know, again, I learned this as a as a tool to access deep concentrated states, but this is a great practice in itself. You're feeling stressed. You're feeling scared. You're feeling anything unpleasant. I thought about, um, I have another round of uh, laser tattoo removal. I'm doing my whole arm here. It's hellish. It's torture. Uh, during the practice, I kind of oscillate. I will practice meta, kind of aggressive, <laughs> fast meta towards myself uh, in the midst of this, like, just torturous pain, but also, a, like, Sometimes it's so, so bad, I shift attention to elsewhere in my body that feels safe, finding refuge in my body somewhere else that isn't screaming in pain. So this could be used for so many different things. Anyway, that's why I like to offer in these things useful tools to pull out when things get difficult. 
pleasant spot meditation. So let's do it. Let's instead of talking about it, let's do it. Bringing some attention in your body right now, and wherever you're sitting or leaning back or laying down. And you can close your eyes if it feels good, if it feels safe. You can leave your eyes open as well. And we'll just start by taking three deep cleansing breaths, just to calm our nervous systems down a bit. So big full breath in through the nose, and then a real slow breath out through the mouth. Another big, deep breath, breathing, filling the lungs up. And then a slow release. And let the shoulders drop and let the belly soften as you're breathing out. And then one more big breath, biggest one you've taken today so far. And a slow release. Let go of any other tension or stress in the body that you can let go of. And just letting go of any effort in the breath. <clears throat> just allowing the body to breathe on its own. And we're just checking in to the body. Is there tension in some of the muscles in the face, like the brow or the jaw? And can you soften? Can you unfurrow the brow? Can you unclench the jaw? Can you soften the lips? Even bringing a little smile right now to the face. Soft lips, little Buddha smile. And then we sweep down the body into the neck and the shoulders, releasing any tension, stress held in the shoulders, that we can let go of right now. Let your shoulders drop down away from the ears. And then dropping all the way down into the belly, softening the belly, just letting the belly go. The hips, the pelvis, releasing any tension that we can let go of. And then a real gentle sweep through the muscles and the joints and the arms and the legs. Softening as we're sweeping through all the way into the hands and fingers, the feet and the toes, really making sure that the hands are at ease. Toes are uncurled, feet are peaceful. And after doing this body scan, now I'm kind of sweeping through the body again and noticing are there any pleasant sensations in the body currently and if you find something direct your attention to that pleasant sensation and have that as your object of meditation breathe attention and effort into it, to allow it, encourage it to build, to get bigger and bigger. And if you can't find a spot in the body, then just bring up a little smile on your face, a little Buddha smile. And then breathing into that smile, energetically breathing into the smile and then giving it permission to build that pleasant feeling, to grow bigger and bigger. Pleasant 
feelings, pleasant sensations in the body are just like every other thing. They arise and they shift and they change and then they pass. So the feeling will come and go like waves. We encourage it to get bigger and then it starts to fade and then it might go away. So we bring attention to another sensation in the body, a pleasant feeling, or bring up another smile on the face. It's the dance with practice. big can we allow this feeling to grow? Just ending our practice today with a little metta towards ourselves. So just another way of cultivating good. Starting to silently repeat to yourself. May I be happy. May I be well. May I be peaceful. Offering this to yourself, this kindness, allowing yourself to receive it as much as you can. May I be happy. May I be well. May I be peaceful. May I be happy. May I be well. May I be peaceful. Giving our bodies a little stretch, a little bend. Hydrate if you got something nearby. And thank you for practicing with me. The ring of the bell doesn't mean the practice is over, it just means it transitions. So we transition into getting off the cushion, getting off our chair, going into our day, our jobs, our neighborhoods or relationships can you not can you how about let's make this positive uh, affirmative um, self-empowering cultivate some good today intentionally cultivate good throughout your day let's do it all right i will see you next week
and always a pleasure. Bye.